Hello, hello. How are you today? Welcome to No Revision, uh, September 25th, 2009. Uh, just uh, half day of uh, half moon, and uh, this is wonderful like energy change, which is great, uh, you know, karma going on. We need a wonderful this kind of energy spread up for every, every single in New York City and New Yorker. Also, I have a few friends, you know, in the. Uh, Libra uh, birthday. So anybody who, uh, you know, Libra, happy birthday to you. Also, I have friends in Italy. Uh, probably he's in uh, Sicily at the moment. He's having a today, uh, September 25th, uh, 50th happy birthday party. I'm going to send it to you. Happy birthday to you, Ray. Uh, have a fun. Here we go. So, um, uh, my show is about drawing and remembrance. So when you draw, and you can easily remember. I'm I personally I'm very visual person. I do remember when I see. Uh, as we say, seeing is believing. So visually, when I catch something, I remember strong in my head, in my memory. Then verbally talk out or I read something like that. So reading is another first way to you you know, improve our brain as well as uh, remember things. However, I always appreciate the visual. Visual is a very powerful thing. So, um, children is always important issue. Their education, their future, goals, and dreams are very important. So, now my point is that um, when I first learned language, uh, my case, and uh, first of what I really you know, grab the pen first, pencil or, you know, magic marker, anything goes first and you're using your finger. That's good for, you know, how the muscle moving as well as the brain works and how to do really draw. So simple thing, I use this uh, uh, alphabet as common because uh, English is our common language word. So I use the uh, alphabet uh, today. Maybe I will use this one uh, green color called this one. This is nice to you know fill in color. However, to me as a you know educator, uh, it's not enough to let children or kids you know really working brain function well. That's how I look at it. Because before they uh, fill in, it's quite easy. But we have to give a little challenge how to you know move a brain fast. More you can active with finger, more you active uh, body. That gives a faster learner and it gives improving brain works. That's how education get uh, education be, uh, will be benefit. So, but here the basic one is how to teach this lung, you know, quickly and nicely, smoothly as possible. That's the whole uh, this practice here. So I made this one very quick. Maybe less than one minute, I believe. This is sand going on, this fire is going on, and like the cooking pots like that. This is my drawing for the Don Donald Duck right there. So based on this, you know, this book, I quickly follow it. <laughs> That's my draw. <laughs> so now, but I'm already grown up. I have no problem following. So now, medal is for the children who just, you know learning how to draw, that is the point. So, we will give you a direction. And that direction, how to. Go this and go that. They're not gonna listen to you. So, now, parents and the teachers, how to give them direction, make it easy as possible. Children has a very visual, but they might not thinking. They have their own personality going on. So, give them easy directions, give them spelling on it. So, for example, give them A, B. All kind of, you know, this direction you give to them and let them follow the line. Uh, J, K, L, M, all kind of, you can follow their way, they can A, B, C, they follow. As you follow the words, uh, alphabet, they will learn, remember alphabet, as well as they draw the picture, they see the visualizing, the things going on. And let's make a whole lot of another process. Now, some kids are very good enough, great enough to remember this one, some are don't. So now, that is my point. 
I think this kind is uh, everybody probably familiar. Just uh, follow A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. That means that they know the alphabet. Before you learn the B, you don't know where, where it was there, before A or C. Because uh, when you spell A, B, C, D, you split the words a lot, as a person, they're remembering. So step is, the point is, before you know the A, before the A, there's nothing in it. But after the A, what tell you? B. So you can teach it. Now, I would like to give A as a first lesson to children. Uh, let's go to the A. So uh, let me see if I say talk about A. There's so many A. For example, A, A, and A as an apple. Let's go to apple. So I will use apple. Apple, green apple. Maybe you can go green apple. So I like to go apple like that. Very simply, like this. This is A, though. And uh, as you see the A, right? Then what? Uh, m most children don't know where the, they might not know where they start with the ending. So now I will give you a uh, direction. How? Like this, like that. And then A, I start A number one. And then I will go to number two. I will go number three, and I want to finish. So let's give them with the same together. Okay, the one, two, three, four, like that. Then I will give a little nice and shadow, like that, finger, like that. All right. I may have a little bit of water, like so, like that. Like a green, uh, red apple, red apple, together. So, this is a big, uh, great sample that uh, instead of going A, B, C, D, is a way to remembering, you know, like alphabet difficulty. I would prefer this way. A as an apple, right? You can see as an apple, or maybe cherry. <laughs> so, this kind of way to you go for. So, now, B, then, what I'm going to do continuously making from here process is more artistic. So instead of you know providing children just draw how to draw, I rather you know more extended creative way how to. Now I have a, a here. Now what I will have here is a B. Okay. Ooh, nice. We have tones over here. Bread, boat, and bears, and bowl kind of stuff. So we have tons of a bee, uh, you know, bowers, and you know, right, baby is here, right there. So now, let's pick up the easy one. Okay, let's see. bowl looks very simple, isn't it? So I'm gonna take this bowl because easy to draw, easy to remember, easy to pronounce. It has that. So I like the bowl. Okay, now, so B because of B. I choose a different color. So each word can have a different color. All right, so now, okay, once we have, since we have a, a nice green going on, I will use red, and now let's see the orange, has it? Orange, good. Now, ball. Ball, I will go this way. Okay, B as in boy, ball. Now, ball simply like this. Very simple. Like there looks like a you know half a moon like that. Then here, uh, again another. You can use a one. I go this way. Two, number three. So this kind of a very uh, fun. Okay, actually, by the way, this paper is recycled last week. So kind of interesting, simple, but making little some you know uh, gradation going on. Simple, very easy, right?